I mean, I've used a baby as a controller. Surely using toilet paper isn't as weird. This is Give Me Toilet Paper, an oddly Charmin game where you stuff your Joy-Con into a piece of four-ply and just roll with it. From the same country that brought you this garbage comes a tale of hardships, despair, and the result of what happens when you don't install a bidet in your home. <laughs> what can I say? I'm cheap. To play Don't Give Me Toilet Paper, you will need a Nintendo Switch. Got it. Toilet paper. Any ply is fine. Two tissues. These are for the tears. And a flat piece of cardboard. I personally prefer Papa John's, but anything will work. The game gives you all these instructions, plays a nice little angel soft piano while you do it. And now you're plunged into the game. The goal here in the world's tallest bathroom is get past the obstacles and get to the man, because women's bathrooms don't have this problem. To move the toilet paper, the Joy-Cons use gyro controls, allowing you to move left and right. The further you get into the game, the more obstacles appear to block out your path, like saws, lasers, evil toilet paper, and of course the ground in which we walk on. One issue I'm already having is trying to navigate this limited space, but... I can manage. Thankfully, you can adjust the sensitivity before you play, so you can play normally without getting wiped out. That was an ass joke. I gotta say, for what looks like just a high-end mobile game, this is completely worth the $5 I flushed down the drain. At first, the levels weren't that difficult, but there is a great difficulty curve here. It's such a simple concept. Move the toilet paper left and right, but I am constantly finding myself having to come up with new creative ways to overcome each level. There's no overarching turns or new gameplay concept introduced it's the same thing each time. Get the man the toilet paper. But then that's when it hit me. It's such an ingenious idea. I mean, most video games are about things we could never relate to in our everyday lives. But getting toilet paper? Have you ever experienced the existential dread where you're sitting on the toilet, a group of strangers at your house, but you're too scared to ask for toilet paper? There's no way around it. Your phone is dead. You didn't stock under the sink. You start running through the mental gymnastics in your head, the terrifying moment of potentially embarrassing yourself, or worse, leaving the bathroom without wiping and the chance of somebody going in there while you're looking for toilet paper. This was preventable. You could have just replaced the roll. You were the one that caused this. And then I understood. What I thought was a game about rolling toilet paper was a meta commentary about the struggles and hardships we face every day. When you're all the way down at the bottom, that's when life rears its head. It tears you apart. This game is a reminder of the mental gymnastics we humans struggle with every day as we face these first world problems. Give Me Toilet Paper shows that as terrible as these troubles may seem, as long as we plunge ourselves into the deep end and face these challenges head on, we can overcome these challenges, not just ourselves, but together as one loving community.